and we are live what is up everyone welcome back to the hexmeter twist channel or if you're watching the fact welcome to my youtube channel my name is tyler ramsby and really do appreciate you taking the time to hang out with me whatever times on whatever time of day it is for you we're going to dive right back into the attacking and defending aws pathway here on try hack me this is a business to business exclusive. So with a regular subscriber account, you cannot access this instead bug your employer so you can get access. I have access for one month and my goal is to stream the entire pathway. So for those of you without access, I want you to be able to see every part of this content. I'm reading the text in this entirety and I received permission from try hack me to do this. So I'm not breaking any rules. They actually shared my first video from this series on uh, their official social media. So shout out to try hack me for sharing that and for this opportunity. Without any further ado, let's dive right back in. Here is what we've all finished so far. We did the full introduction to AWS and we're working our way through this. Now, if you miss one of these streams, I am recording each one of these modules as separate videos and releasing them every single day on my YouTube channel. So go to my YouTube, subscribe, and you can follow along on there if you miss one of these streams. But let's dive in. Let's see if we can finish this introduction to IAM this morning. The quest for least privilege. We're gonna learn how to scope an IAM policy down to only the necessary actions. And least privilege, of course, is a huge principle in InfoSec in general. One of the most common tasks for anyone working in AWS IAM is to scope IAM policies to include only the necessary privileges required to complete a task. This is commonly referred to as following the principle of least privilege. In this room, we will take a broadly scoped rule and whittle down access to allow the policy to do three things, which is kind of cool. I've never actually have, have done this. This is more kind of on the defensive or architecture side, so I'm excited to see this. We wanted to audit all EC2 settings. We wanted to launch machines in the Singapore region, and we wanted to access a specific corporate S3 bucket. We'll start... <laughs> My cat's playing with a, a toy next to me that makes the sound of a bird. So if you guys hear a bird... There's not a real bird in my basement with me. Uh, number one, uh, we'll start with the default administrator access policy. So remember, if we read this, we have the effect is allow. And what, what's allowed? Well, any action on any resource. So right now, if you apply this policy to a user, they can quite literally do almost anything. If you are denied access while you have this policy, what type of policy is blocking you? Okay, remember, it is... Oh, it's 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 the uh, something organization policy. I'm trying to think of what it's called. I might actually have to look back at the learning pathway. It's like on the tip of my tongue. If anyone in the chat knows what it is, let me know. I remember. Uh, we we went through this. Was it under resource policies? Uh, cause it even, I even remember the example that you used, like it was using Hogwarts examples and it talked about, uh, Dumbledore, <laughs> but since I did these so close together, I don't remember what they, what it was, but I talked about Dumbledore not being able to do something, even though he was the admin account. Let's see. Customer policies. Do, 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 do. Is it AWS managed policy? No. That's why y'all take notes. Oh my goodness, what is the answer? It's in one of these learning paths, guys. I don't think it's basic concepts. I'm going to have to skim through these now. We'll see if we can find it. There's a specific policy that nobody can touch. And it used to not even say, like, hey, you're being blocked by this. I'm just blanking on the name. I'm going to blame the fact that usually my mind doesn't begin to work till like, noon and it's, it's, it's morning time. And my kids kept me up last night. <laughs> That's going to be my excuse. Um, all right. Let's see if we can find it though. I am users, I am roles. Maybe it talks about it here. No, it's a root user. Okay, when all this fails. Do 
do I'm not logged into him on this profile? Maybe not. What is it? Open AI. I just want to go to the link. Rough time when I don't have my normal profile. Okay. It's chat.openai.com. That's what I'm trying to do. Ah, I'm not logged in anything on this profile. Hold up, y'all. I have a specific profile. So usually I do all my streaming from my virtual machine. But because of the way this pathway is set up, I'm just using my browser. But anytime I use my browser to stream, I have a separate um, profile set up just for streaming. So it has like nothing in it. So when I need to log into stuff, I have to redo the whole process. Okay. Now we are back in. Let me go ahead and share my screen. Let's see if ChatGPT can come and clutch on this. Uh, what? Come on, ChatGPT. Nope, not explicit deny. That's not what it's looking for. All right, chat. This is on you guys. See so you can find the answer first. Oh, hey, we're in the we're in the Hogwarts one. Okay. So, here's where it might talk about it. I might just have to skim through this. For example, customer policies can be their custom manager or inline. The most powerful is administrator access policy shown below. There's another managed policy called read only access using this command. Okay, that's not going to be our answer. Not access the environment. Resource. Jeez, I'm going to spend this whole stream trying to find this answer. Effect. Principle. Only required for resource policies, the principal element. Conditions. I don't think it's going to be in conditions. Principal and not principal. That's not the root account access policy either. Ah, Chad GP isn't always talking about. Oh my goodness. I'm about to just skip this question. <sighs> Probably isn't here. We're just going to open each one of these. I'm going to find it. We know it's not IAM credentials because I just did that. It's probably not introduction to IAM. If I remember, I even asked a question about it. So even if I just look at the questions. Okay, let's try this. Oh, maybe it was that one. No. Oh my goodness. How long am I going to be stuck on this? Oh, is it service control policy? Dang it. Type organization policy to manage permissions in your organization. What the heck is it using Bing?
Service control policy, our type of... Oh, maybe it's just policy. There we go. That took me a while, but we got it, guys. I knew, I knew that. It was on the tip of my tongue, uh, but glad we found it. Let's keep going. Accessing the environment. I don't think we have to regenerate our environment. We should be good as is, but if we haven't do, run to an issue, we might have to regenerate. We'll just go ahead and click complete for now. Limited by service. The requirement is to allow access to EC2 and S3 only. So remember our requirements right here. These two right there, that's what it's referring to. To do that, you'll need to restrict the actions by service. This would look like this. We have the SID, so kind of like a description to permit EC2. The effect is allow. And then what are we allowing? Well, on the EC2, that. That means right now it can do anything and the resource is anything. But we want to break this out to support two different resources, so we'll do that now. What action is needed in place of XXX? Okay. So the requirement is to allow EC2 and S3 only. To do that, you'll need to restrict the actions by service. That would look like this. So this is the EC2 specific service. And here's our action principle. And we want to launch machines in the Singapore region. Would that be, whoops. Would that be the region information there? Or is it, so it's under action. Oh, git. Oh, I see, because git, it, would it be git? No. It's two letters. Wouldn't it be describe, get? I'm not sure. The requirement is to allow access to EC2 and S3 only. Do that, you'll need to restrict the actions by service. That would look like this. I don't know what would go there. <laughs> let's, let's ask, let's ask chat GPT. Would be, it's not it's not like s3 is it oh shoot it is s3 okay i didn't even need chat gpt i was thinking we'd have a different sid for this i know this is permit ec2 so i would assume we'd have a different one that's like permit s3 so i think that's why that threw me off for a second limiting by read versus modify <clears throat> However, we probably want to break this out to support two different resources. So that's what I was thinking initially. Like, why would you do this in the permit EC2 one? And so here's the two different resources. Here's our SID, how I assumed it should have been. Permit EC2, effect allow, and the action is on any EC2, and it applies to any resource. <clears throat> and then we have permit S3, effect is allow, and action is S3. <coughs> Sorry, y'all, too much talking. Let me get another drink. It's the breakfast of champs. Quest Protein Shakes' this stream is sponsored by them. It really isn't. I wish it was. They should send me some, some free protein shakes. I take that. <clears throat> to make this a read-only audit role, we need to limit the policy to only list, describe, and get actions. Our problem here is uh, because we have a wild card here, we can do anything. So we just want to list, describe, and get. We don't want you to be able to put stuff in the S3 bucket and on the EC2. We just want you to audit the EC2 settings. So you shouldn't be able to like restart the EC2 or modify the EC2, but the way it's set up now, you would be able to. So here's our example right here. Action is EC2 that and get, and action for S3 is get and that, and it's allow. What is the redacted EC2 action required in place of Y, Y, Y? So for the EC2 one, <clears throat> List, describe, and get. I think it would be describe. What is a redacted S3 action required in place of XX? 
So for that, we only want you to list and describe and get. I believe that would be list because it can list the items in the S3 bucket. <clears throat> Let's look at the hints, see if that was if we learn anything from those. When in doubt, uh, you can check out the documentation. All right, really, when in doubt, ask ChatGPT and then yell at him when he's wrong. That's the way I do things. Enumerating specific resources. Finally, we'll limit this policy to a subset of resources using wildcards and prefixes. We start with a new statement to allow all actions on instances in Singapore. We also need to add two resources to the S3 statement. The first statement refers to all the objects in the bucket and the second to the bucket itself. So let's read through this together. We have our SID here to permit EC2 and then the effect is allow. And what are we allowing? What actions? Well, they can describe the EC2, which means they can list the EC2s out and they can get the EC2 to get information about the EC2 essentially, but they can do it to any resource. Okay. And then we have the SID here called Singapore and it is allows and the action is EC2 and it applies to this resource of instance. So we're essentially saying, hey, you can do this, but only to the resources here in, in this instance. Now, this doesn't specify Singapore yet. I don't think so, unless that's what the account number is. And then we have the SID here for permit S3 allows to get connection is lost. Oh, OK, I'm back. The action is get, and then it applies to two resources in the My Corporate Bucket wildcard and then to the My Corporate Bucket itself. There are two resources needed for the S3 statement. The first applies the S3 get actions to the objects in the bucket, while the second applies to the bucket itself. What is the element needed in place of XXX to represent the AWS region Singapore? Oh, yeah, okay. So even when I was reading through that, I'm glad I caught that. I'll count that as a win. I said, hey, I don't think that applies just to Singapore. That needs to be modified. And so we need the region here for Singapore. And one way we can check the region for Singapore is if we open up this, we should just be able to find Singapore, AP Southeast 1, AP Southeast 1. And there we go. We have completed another room on our quest through the attacking and defending AWS pathway. We completed the quest for least privilege. So as usual, if you're watching on YouTube, this is going to be the end of this video. And so what we are going to do for those of you on Twitch is I'm not going to sign off yet. I have a little bit more time. So we'll jump into another five minute break. And then at the end of the five minute break, we'll jump right back on stream and keep working through the pathway. So I will be back in five minutes.